In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.18. Now, Minecraft 1.18 literally just came out yesterday, and Optifine just released today. So I'm going to show you how to install it and also show you some fixes if it does not work. Now the fixes will be on the end of the video. If you have any problems with Optivine, definitely check out the fixes on the end of the video. But quickly as well, if you are new to this channel and this video does help you out, I'd really appreciate if you did hit that subscribe button. And also if you left a like on this video, that would be amazing. But anyway, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you've got to want to do is actually load up Minecraft. So here is my Minecraft launcher. All you've got to do is double click on it. And once it loads up just like this, as you can see, there's Minecraft 1.18 just in the corner, just down here. Now what you're going to want to do is actually click on this just here, just keep it selected as 1.18, then click on play. And then once your Minecraft loads up just like this, all you're going to want to do is actually close down this game. So click on quit game just there, and now you are done for step one. Now step two is actually installing Optivine. So here is the website just here, I will leave a link in the description down below. Now if you come to the website, it might look like this just here. And all you've got to do is click on the downloads at the top here. And once you click on that, you can see 1.18 just here. Preview versions here. And as you can see here, Optivine. Now you can click on the download button just here or click on mirror just here. Now mirror is actually a lot easier, so just click on here. And that should take you straight to this website just here and click on download. Now the difference between download and mirror, on download you will get an ad, it will come up on your screen. And on mirror, you won't get any ads. So yeah, just click on mirror, it's just a lot easier to install it. As you can see just down here, we have got it just here. But this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep it? Now your computer just usually says this and Optifine is totally fine. I've downloaded thousands of these files and my computer is totally fine. Now do it at your own risk though. If you want to keep it, then keep. If you do not, just get rid of it. And uh, if you get rid of it, you cannot install Optifine. So I'm going to click on keep just there and it should just download just over here. Now once it's actually finished downloading, all you've got to do is drag it to your desktop just like that. Now you can get rid of this page here. So here it is just here. Now as you can see here, mine's got a coffee mug in it. Now, if yours does not have a coffee mug in it, I will show you a fix very shortly for that. So, what you're going to want to do now is actually just double click on this file just here. Now, as you can see here, this little launcher installer comes up. All you've got to do is click on install just here. Now, once you click that, it should just uh, install. And as you see here, it has installed. So, that is that. That is done. Now, you can get rid of this file. You do not need it no more. Now, all you've got to do now is actually just load up Minecraft. As you can see here, mine is now loaded up. And automatically, it has swapped it over to Optivine just down here. Now, if it has not done this, all you've got to do is click on installations up here. Now, you just create a new installation and just find your Optivine just here and click on create and basically it will come up just down here. But anyway, if it's already here, click on play and then you can click on play and then it will just uh, load up Minecraft and you'll be able to play Minecraft with Optivine. So I'm going to show you guys some fixes now if your Optivine did not work or install at all. So as you can see here, my Optivine just up here has got the coffee mug in it. If yours does not have the coffee mug in it, it's because you probably need to install Java. Now here is a website just here to install Java. So all you've got to do is click on the download just up here. Then once you click on that, it should bring you to another page just like this one. So if you have a 32-bit operating system, all you have to do is click on this red download button just here. Then it should just download Java just down here. That's if you've got a 32-bit operating system. But if you have a 64-bit operating system, you have to come just down here, as you can see here, FAQ about 64-bit Java for Windows. Just click on that just there. That should take you to another page just like this one. All you've got to do is come down and you can see 64-bit just here. Just click on this one here. Then from here, you can click the manual page just here. Then once you click on that, it should bring you to another page just like this. And all you've got to do is click on Windows Offline just there. So click on that and you can actually just download Java just like that. That is for 64-bit. Now, if you have like a Mac, as you can see, you can download a Mac here, uh, Linux and other operating systems as well, just from here. But if you do not know what your operating system is, if it's a 32-bit or 64-bit, it's very easy to find out if you have a 64-bit or a 32-bit. Now, to actually find out if you've got a 64-bit or 32-bit, all you've got to do is come to the search bar just down here, then type in system. So here it is system, click on that. Now, you can see here there's a lot of information on this page just here, but all you're looking for is system type just there. And as you can see, mine is a 64-bit operating system. Now, if yours is a 32-bit, yours should say 32-bit. So that is how you find out if yours is 32-bit or 64-bit. Very simple, just in here. Now, once you actually install Java, your file should swap over to a coffee mug just like this. Now, if it has not swapped over to a coffee mug still, all you've got to do is right click on it, open with, then you can see here Java TM just here. Click on that and that should work. And if that still did not work, what you're going to want to do is actually update Java. Now, Java just had an update 
not too long ago so you need to actually update java now that should be all the fixes to actually make this turn to a coffee mug now if it still has not worked you can join my discord server i've got a help section on there you can, if you need any help at all on installing uh, optivine if you need help just let us know there and we'll be able to help you there also, if your Minecraft lags while you're using the Ops of Vine for 1.18, there could be something you can do. If you click on installations at the top here, then go down to your Ops of Vine, then click on the three little dots just there, then click on edit just there. Now, once you come to this page here, click on more options down at the bottom here, then scroll down, and then once you come down to here, as you can see here, I've got a XMX2G just here. Now, that is two gigabytes. Now, this is what your Minecraft runs off. So at the moment, I'm giving my Minecraft two gigabytes to actually run off. Now, if you've got enough RAM on your computers to actually bump this up, I'd recommend to actually do that. Now, I've actually got 16 gigabytes of RAM, so I'm actually going to bump this up to about a four, I think, just there. So just bump that up to a four. Or you could bump it up a little bit higher if you want to. Or if you've got eight gigabytes of RAM, you can still bump it up to a four. So it might struggle a little bit. It all depends on your computer. So yeah, I would just recommend just keeping that on four gigabytes if you can just there. Now, if you don't know how much uh, RAM you've actually got on your computer, well, there's a very easy way to find out. All you got to do is click on the little search box down here then type in system. Now, once you come back to this page just here, as you can see, there is RAM just here. And I've got 16 gigabytes just there. You might have eight gigabytes, you might have two gigabytes. I don't think you can have two gigabytes, but you might have four gigabytes. You know what I'm trying to say. So there we are. I've got 16 gigabytes. So really, I can probably run up to six gigabytes on here. Now, you don't want to put this to 16 gigabytes. Then your computer will not have enough resources to actually run, you know, Windows and all that. So if you've got 16 gigabytes, a good place just to keep it is on four gigabytes. That is just the easiest way to explain it. And that should be all good. Now, once you've done that, just click on save. And then you should be able to just run up Minecraft. Then everything should work totally fine. And you should be able to play Minecraft with Optivine with no problems. So that is how you actually install Optivine for Minecraft. As you can see, we've got the zoom feature. You should get more FPS in your Minecraft and everything should be all good. Now, if you guys actually enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you did leave a like. Also, subscribe if this video did help you out. And also, I recommend checking out my Let's Play series. I just started that. You should definitely check that out. There's a link on the screen right now. Click on that if you want to watch that. Anyway guys, that is it and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.